Hi, this is Ben Gaines with Adobe Analytics Product Management. Sometimes when I'm doing my own analysis, I have a question, and I know that segmentation is the best way for me to answer that question, but I don't want to go through the trouble of creating a new segment and having it be part of my segment list for perpetuity. It might just be a quick question, maybe I'm curious about something, and I want the ability to just create a segment very quickly and work with it for a minute and move on, or uh, make it part of my project, but not have it uh, become part of my segment library in, Anal in Adobe Analytics. And we've made this uh, not only possible, but very easy to do in Analysis Workspace using what we call ad hoc segments. And this doesn't refer to the ad hoc analysis tool in Adobe Analytics, but it does refer to the ability to build very quickly um, and iteratively uh, these segments that you can keep or throw away um, but that allow you to do segmentation without without even touching the segment builder. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got a simple project here that shows uh, pages and internal campaigns. And now let's say I wanted to see um, what uh, how how Twitter has driven um, traffic to my site, how how Twitter is impacting my pages and internal campaigns. So I'm gonna I want to segment by refers for or by by uh, by clicks from Twitter. Um, now, I could go into the segment builder and create a new segment, but I'm actually going to use these ad hoc segments. Uh, to do this, I'm going to find the dimension that I want to use to perform the segmentation. In this case, it's referring domain. So I'm going to find referring domain here on the left by searching for it in this case, and I'm going to click on the little arrow. And this arrow will, sh will uh, drill in and show me all of the values that belong to that dimension. I can see here's Twitter's t.co domain. And all I'm going to do is drag and put it right here on the segment drop zone. And you'll see that it creates a it creates an ad hoc segment of where referring domain equals t.co. It actually hits where referring domain equals t.co. And you can see that my project has been, or my panel, has been segmented by uh, referring by hits where referring domain equals t.co. Uh, so uh, I can, I can, uh, not only can I work with that, but I could actually go deeper into this if I wanted to. Uh, let's say I wanted to then segment by uh, not only uh, uh, hits where referring domain equals t.co, but also where, uh, let's do cities, uh, where city equals San Francisco. I can again drag that and drop it and um, you'll see that it has now become even further segmented and uh, I, can, I can keep adding as many of these as I want. I can mix and match dimensions. Um, all of that is, is very easy for me to do here in Analysis Workspace. I'm going to get rid of the Cities one, uh, but I do want to show you that if you do decide that you uh, want to save one of these, you can click on this little info icon It'll bring up the segment definition, and then I could click on this pencil, and that would take me into the segment builder where I could edit and then save the segment. And then it would um, be saved here to my segment list um, to, to use throughout Adobe Analytics, um, whereas right now, this segment is only going to be available inside this particular project um, because it is an ad hoc segment. Now I've cleared it out, and the reason that I did that is that I want to show you um, what I personally think is an even cooler way to use ad hoc segments. Um, and that is by dragging directly out of a table of data. Um, so uh, let's say I wanted to see which internal campaigns uh, were most clicked uh, on my home page. Um, again, I could build a segment, or I could even you know, go find home page up here in uh, my page dimension. Uh, but I've already got pages here. So I'm just going to go to home, and I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hit command, but uh, this would uh, you'd want to hit control if you're on a PC. Uh, so I'm going to hold down command and just drag. And when I hold down command, that item becomes draggable, and I can actually drag it and put it up on the, uh, on the uh, segment drop zone. And I actually picked one that has no data, so that's not a lot of fun. Let's clear that out. Um, I'll, I'll do it uh, segmenting instead by internal campaign. Um, so I can take this int underscore 102 tracking code, drop it onto my segment drop zone, and you'll see that everything becomes then segmented by uh, by that value. Uh, so you can do that for any uh, 
value of a dimension, or of course any segment, you can always drop segments uh, up here as well, uh, but any, so any table where I'm using the values of a dimension, and you'll know that you're looking at a dimension value if the little bar on the left uh, side of the cell is, is yellow or orange. It's kind of a gold color. Um, anything that has that gold color can be dragged and dropped by holding down command or control um, and, and dropping it here on the segment drop zone. Um, this is something that we've, uh, this is a, a point of feedback that we've gotten uh, from many of you uh, wanting this ability to build these, these ad hoc segments on the fly, and you are now able to do it in Analysis Workspace as of June 2016.